Hi, I'm Daniel Mettler from Tusic Internet Solutions, the makers of Tusexy, and I would like to show you our big Christmas present today, uh, 2019, which is a run query um, data source. Now, you probably don't think this is a big deal, but it actually is a really, really big deal. So let me just give you a brief tutorial of how this works. Stay with us for two minutes and I'm sure you will be excited as well. So what we have here is the normal uh, tutorial app that we have, uh, which you can get from the app store. I'll show you later on where to find it. And I'm just going to go into the queries right now and I'm going to open a query called random author with books. It looks super simple. We have the uh, app here. It provides data of person types to the shuffle. This will just shuffle them, randomize them, pick one and give it to this block here. And this thing here will suddenly return that author as well as all the current books of that author. Now, let me just run this. As you can see, we first randomly hit an author that has no books, so the books list is empty. Let's run it again. Now we got George Akerlof, and he wrote a few books. Let's run it again. And Douglas Adams, Hitchhiker's Guide, etc. So this looks pretty simple. Um, but the truth is actually, we are doing something really, really awesome here because this component here doesn't do much. It actually calls another visual query called authors with books. Now we're reusing a different query that we'd made before, which is this one. And so this query, which looks a bit complicated, I'll explain it in a second, is actually being run in this block using the data provided here and returning the two streams author and books. Isn't that cool? This was never possible before. Um, and so any more sophisticated setup always required people to kind of like repeat their queries and other kinds of queries. And this allows us to kind of like create function blocks. So let me just walk you through how this works because this will make your life so much easier for complex scenarios. Let's uh, just to understand what's going on. This is the original query. So we have the cache. It goes through a publishing filter so that only admins see draft items and public users don't. Then it passes that to the app so that the app will from then on only use published data. And here it has a person stream which is going to this find component. And the find component simply looks for the parameter author ID. And it'll find the item with that ID. Nothing super exotic, right? It also passes it to the sort authors because in this query we're also doing more. There's also an author stream which has them sorted A through Z. And here, if it finds the author, it gives it to this um, relationship filter, which tries to find all the books um, belonging to this author. And you see it uses this here. It, that means from the stream that comes into the block, it uses the author field. So here, this one. So it uses the author, takes the stream that comes with the books, finds all of them, and passes it on as current books. This is how this one works. And now the great thing is this one's a bit more complicated, of course, um, but since you can reuse these blocks like function calls now, somebody else that might understand this better can make this one and then you can just reuse it. Note, by the way, that in here we have the parameters. So we're saying, okay, we have a parameter author ID. That's the one that's being used in the filter. And we're also using test parameters. Those are when we're running it in here, because we don't get a parameter otherwise, right? So this is just a test value. For as a test value here, we're going to use this ID. Um, if you're testing it on your system, you're probably going to have different author IDs. So let me just run this. And you see here, it's always going to return Douglas Adams and the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, because this is what this one does. Now let's go back to the previous one where we're calling it. We have the persons coming from the app. We're shuffling them. Let me just show you what. He's just taking one, so he's just randomly picking one. And then he's passing it on to this query run, which is, again, fairly simple. Here, we're selecting what query to run, which we took authors with books. And we're saying that the author ID should come from his in stream. So we're saying, take whatever comes in, which is this, the author that was randomly selected. So it picks that random author, it reruns this query, and voila, what we get is, now we got Raphael, he didn't write a lot of books yet. Um, Terry Pratchett, one of my favorite authors, he wrote a lot of books. So this is how it works. This is super awesome because it lets you create like queries, just like function calls and reuse them, but simpler. So if you want to know more, 
Get Too Sexy um, 1024. Um, there will also be links in the blog. Um, also, um, here, this is a short link that you might want to type in to get to the query run documentation. And if you want to get the tutorial app, go to toosexy.org, go to the apps section, and then just download the DNN Razor tutorials in version 1024, which I'm going to publish in about an hour. Thank you for watching. Merry Christmas 2019. Enjoy it. We love building Too Sexy and we really, really love it when you use all the things you can do in here. So please give it a try. Daniel Mettler, Too Sick Internet Solutions.